Johnson and Trey McGowan can get to their right hand, forces the collapse. They're doing a good job of being able to dump off that last time. Then you get the ball over. Eric Hamilton. Bounce back game for Hamilton, what Pittsburgh was looking for. Childress. See the shot by Childress. No one putting the body on uses and him coming coming out and just going up top. And you see again, normally you gotta turn around and gain rebound. And how about him? Uses coming range pull up. Cole Anthony has mastered it. And he's got that look in his eye like he wants to turn the tide by himself here. Down 21 to 15. And it's huge because OB they take cues from him. When he starts to get going. And now that he's more trusting of his teammates, it lifts this whole team up. White fires it up there. Hit and he made the shot. He hits the three-pointer and fouled on it, too. Goodness gracious. It's your three-point specialist. He's made the most on the team of 45 coming in, 39% shooter. And you knew Keeling lost this, and once the head fake and that momentum was coming. But the focus of White was the difference. Beverly, tough shot, never had a chance. Neath ahead to Johnson. Slams it in. He just posterized Rodney Miller, and we got an eight-point game. And even if he makes it, obviously, Pittsburgh hasn't shot the three well this year, but the past week they have. Make it a three-point game, he missed it. Six seconds for Pittsburgh. McGowan's down by two. McGowan's rejected by Saar. Wake Forest with .2 seconds left will shoot free throws after the gigantic block from Olivier Saar. The ball here in the last half minute. Moore trying to get it in on that baseline. Does bounce it in for Jones, and they chase him. Up for Stanley. Goldwire mishandle it. Loose. It's loose. Back for the Demon Deacons. Under 20 seconds. Here's Childress. He'll fire a long one. He got it. He hit the shot. He ties it at 79. 13 seconds to go. Goldwire with it. Jones taking the baseline. He'll drive it, but a foul on the play with eight seconds to go.